Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a very quick review and first thoughts on the Louis Vuitton monogram shawl. I'll give you all the basic information on this particular item, including dimensions and price point, and give you my initial first thoughts on this shawl because these three pieces are a relatively new addition to my collection. So if this is an item that you have been eyeing from Louis Vuitton and just can't decide whether or not to pull the trigger, hopefully by the end of this video, you will have a better understanding and grasp on this item and whether or not you would like to add this to your shawl collection. So if you are curious to hear all the details and find out a little more about this item, please keep on watching. All right, so as you saw in the introduction to this video, I have the Louis Vuitton monogram shawl in three different colors. This right here is the color Verone, which is a beautiful taupe color. I also have it in this beautiful blush pink color that they call natural. And the third one that I showed you is technically considered a denim shawl from Louis Vuitton, and this is in the blue color. As you can tell, all the shawls have the classic Louis Vuitton print in them. Obviously this one is a two-tone, so you see it a lot better versus the Verone and the Natural, where it is a tone-on-tone -tone print, a little more subtle, which I kind of like for certain times. And each of these shawls at the bottom, looks like, I think that's the bottom right, I believe. Yeah, it says Louis Vuitton Paris like that. And all of these shawls have a tag on them, and I will show you here, that says Louis Vuitton Paris. It shows you the fabric content, which hopefully it's focusing, 60% silk and 40 wool. It tells you dry clean only, made in Italy. This right here is the date code, which IS is a factory in Italy. And then this particular one has a date code of IS. 0194 which means it was the made in the ninth week of 2014 and then on the other side here this is actually the item number that is specific to this particular color combination so for the blue monogram or not blue monogram blue denim the style number right here is m71376 hopefully that's focusing and then verone is m72238 so you can see that everything is the same as far as the layout of the label is concerned. The date code will probably be a little different unless both of these happen to be made at the exact same week and year. And then here is the um, style number. So for this one, like I said, it's M72238. And then for the natural, in case you are interested in this particular color, let's find it here. All right, here we go. So for the natural, the code is M74441. And you can see the date code here and the style number there for this particular color. Since I have it open, actually, let me get into the details of this shawl. It is a perfect square. It is 56 inches each side. Technically, I believe it's actually 56.1. So this shawl is a monstrosity let me i mean you're not even going to be able to see me but it's huge it's enormous and it keeps going and going and going it's huge and let's see since we've got this one open this is the bottom right you can see the i hope you can see the louis vuitton paris there tone on tone in the corner can you see it i <laughs> can't even tell there it is yeah so you can see it on camera i mean this thing is massive it's i mean it's huge so the nice thing about it being so enormous it allows you to wear it a number of different ways and i will get into that in a moment but actually before i do delve into that part of the video i wanted to share probably the most important thing and probably something everyone's wondering well how much is it this shawl this beautiful little shawl, <laughs> this beautiful huge shawl, retails at Louis Vuitton for $590 currently in 2019. 
If that blew your hair back, I don't blame you because it certainly blew my hair back. In my personal and humble opinion, I think $590 for a shawl is crazy town. So I will be completely honest with you guys. I did not pay full price for any of my beautiful shawls that you see right here because no, I'm just not going to. There, I think it's just way too much. And um, one of the big things about this shawl, they're notoriously sensitive and snag very easily. So if that is something that concerns you or that would turn you off to a shawl, then this piece might not be for you. So keep that in mind. Case in point, look at this denim shawl here. You've already got a little hair loose thread. I don't know why I said hair. Um, so they snag very easily. That is a big, big thing with this shawl. It is very dainty. So keep that in mind if you do buy it. I'm actually shocked that I ended up with three because something like that would actually drive me bonkers. And in the very, very cold climate that I live in, um, I have to wear a really bulky jacket with a zipper and I have zero intentions of wearing these shawls with a zippered outer garment because it will snag. I know I will do it. It's it's just inevitable. And even though I didn't pay 590 plus tax, I did pay still a solid amount for them. So I'm not going to be subjecting them to a possible snag or uh, full run in the pattern. You're probably wondering, I said, hey, I didn't pay 500. Well, where and how? I highly, highly recommend this woman that I have purchased from, I actually purchased both the Verone and the Natural from her, Julia Rose Boston on Instagram. And I will put her name right here and leave it on, on the screen for a little bit so you can absorb it, memorize it, search for her, follow her. She is fantastic. All her items are authentic. And both of these particular pieces I actually purchased from her. They were listed as new or as new, meaning if they were used, there's zero sign of wear and that is 100% accurate. No snags, no issues at all to speak of when it comes to the shawl. If you are not familiar with her and that makes you a little uneasy, then what I would suggest is once you purchase an item, if you purchase an item, then go to Pro Authenticators on Facebook. I will write their name here so that again, you can memorize it, write it down, search for them, and they will authenticate your Louis Vuitton item via Facebook in, at least in my experience, always fantastic quick turnaround time, like we're talking minutes. And a basic verbal, you know, via messenger type authentication will cost you $10. And that way you can know for sure that it is an authentic item, um, not only for shawls, but anything Louis Vuitton. This beautiful beautiful item being as big as it is allows you to wear it a number of different ways and like i told you i only recently added these three to my collection so i haven't really worn them in a ton of different ways um there are a lot of very intricate and more i they're not really complex but take a little more time than just throwing it on type of ways to wear the shawl and that is all fun and i'm sure i will get to that at some point but in the time that i have owned these beautiful pieces the way i've worn them a lot of times I will do uh, fold them diagonally and create this triangle that you can or maybe cannot see on screen. I apologize, but you know, I don't have that fancy of a lens to show you this huge thing all on camera. But basically what I did was just fold it diagonally and just bunch it all together so that it turns into this one really long shawl. Hey guys, I created a lot of noise against the microphone, so I'm gonna voice over this section of the video. The first way that I would style the shawl is by simply creating a knot and bringing it up as close to my neck as possible, creating this long slouchy tie looking style. And as you can see when I get up, there is a substantial amount of fabric hanging in front of me, which actually looks really amazing with a coat on. The next way I would style the shawl is by taking the ends, bringing them together, creating a loop on the other side, and then taking that fabric around my neck and bringing the end through the loop. In my opinion, this is the most classic way of wearing any scarf or shawl because it brings all that fabric close to your neck and chest, keeping you super warm. The next way that I would wear the shawl is by separating the fabric like so and then taking it straight around my neck, letting it hang naturally, and then if and when I need some warmth, I bring the fabric over itself like so and it keeps me nice and warm.
And as if all that wasn't enough, if I have a cold day in the office, I can then unfold it into this long triangular shape, swoop it straight around my shoulders, and I have a quick and easy way of staying warm at my desk. There are an infinite number of ways to wear it, I would imagine. And actually, if you were to probably search on uh, YouTube, you would probably find a bunch of different ways to style and wear this. Um, I'm sure people probably might belt it even because it is just that big that you can, you know, bring it over your shoulders down, belt it and kind of make it another layer or top with your particular outfit. Personally, for me, that's just not a style that would work, but that is something that you can do. With all that being said, my initial thoughts on this shawl are overall very positive. Like I said, it is known to be very dainty and snag quite easily, so I have kept that in mind and have been very mindful when I wear it. I'm only wearing it with coats or jackets that do not have zippers so that it won't snag. I will be mindful of whether or not I have any jewelry on my hands wrist so that it doesn't catch on them and so far you know i'm not being completely you know like putting it in bubble wrap basically when i'm wearing it but i'm just being mindful and so far i've really had no issues there was that minor snag on the denim one but i actually purchased it from a reseller on ebay well not a reseller i shouldn't say a seller on ebay and that snag was on there and you know for the price that i purchased it you know, this thing is not gonna bother me. It's not the end of the world. I'll live, you know, saved a significant amount of money off retail when I purchased this. So that is okay with me. So just be mindful of the fact that it does snag. It's dainty, um, it's sensitive, whatever adjective you'd like to use in that regard. So just kind of be mindful of how you're wearing it, when you're wearing it, what you're wearing it with, so that you don't potentially put yourself in a situation where you've caused a really obvious and noticeable snag or an even a pull altogether because you'll see that straight line um, in the pattern if it were to pull entirely. The fabric content for me is nice. It's a good balance. It's, what was it? It was 60, no, 60 silk, 40 wool. So I think that is warm enough for me. I tend to run hot, so I don't want something too hot and I don't want to overheat and so far when I have been using it it's provided me with just the right amount of warmth we haven't really delved into full-on winter here so those really you know temperatures that, that really hurt haven't quite hit yet so it remains to be seen how it will do as far as warmth is concerned during those kind of temperatures but right now when we're talking you know real feel anywhere from the high 20s to low 40s. It's been keeping me very nice and warm. The other nice thing I like about this, it's huge, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't sit big when you're wearing it. So for example, this was actually a style that I forgot to show you um, earlier when I was showing you the different ways I've worn it. So here is a case in point of a style of a way that I've worn it and Typically, if there's this much fabric going on with a scarf and I wear it this way, it's gonna just jut out like that and it's just not attractive. But with this one, it's really not bad. And so this is kind of a, a two for one here. I'll show you another way to wear it and show you how it is big, but doesn't look big. So now it looks like I'm ready to have a lobster or crab dinner. I've dyed it like so. Hey guys, I'm back because I created more noise against the microphone. So basically what I'm doing here is hiding the ends of the shawl underneath the fabric in the front. And as you can see here, as I turn to the side, that it is not at all bulky. It's, it's really incredible given how big it is that it lays so nicely and it lays flat against the body and doesn't create an insane amount of bulk. You know, we don't need that, especially if someone is bigger chested like me no one needs more fabric like that you know i don't need it to be sticking out crazy in front of me you know like the shawl enters and then you know five minutes later i'm entering the room no one needs that so the fact that this is a thin yet very warm shawl is a huge benefit and i believe it is at this point in the video that it's dawning on me that i may have muffled the audio for you guys and am apologizing I think it is a great way to elevate any kind of outfit in this in-between season, whether it be fall, whether it be spring. Even though I think this outfit is pretty solid on its own, if I wanted to elevate it a little bit more, I can toss this on and, you know, mission accomplished in that regard. If you need to just look a little more, you know, just a little notch above and look a little more put together, I think this shawl certainly does the trick. 
that is it for this video. If you liked it, please do give it that thumbs up. Please do not forget to do that. And more importantly, hit that subscribe button down below. Ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video because I would love to have you back. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.